observational studies versus experimental studies. Let's have a look. So when we go to actually collect our data now, we've come up with a plan, we've written our question, and, and now we want to decide how, how we're actually going to collect this data. So there are two main types of data collection methods. One of them is called an observational study, the other is some kind of experimental study. So in an observational study, and you can see I've got a little picture down here of a person, a little person just observing what is happening on this mushroom. Okay, and that is literally what an observational study is. As a teacher, I simply sit and observe the behavior of the students in my class. I notice who's working, who's not, who's talking, who's listening to music, who's um, wearing the right uniform. I notice all of this and things and I can collect data on that. So it could be that I ask students questions. It could be I note down things that I observe myself. Um, so we, we've got a whole bunch of things around that. The other type is an, oh, is an experimental study. And so in an experimental study, it's literally like an experiment that you do in science. You want to have a very controlled conditions. So if I'm doing an experiment, I would have it set up as with two groups and I want to complete, complete everything to be the same except for the thing that I am testing. All right. And the key idea behind all of this is that in an experimental study, the investigator randomly assigns people into one of these two groups. Okay. Most of the data that we collect tends to be observational study. Okay. Um, and in fact, the ones that we've done for our investigations have all been observational.